Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got uh, some ribbons here. This one is a small one that goes on the uh, Smith Corona Skyrider and the Corsair. And uh, generally these ribbons come like this on a big two inch spool. So to get the ribbon from here to here, first you need to remove it, which I did on this one here. And then there's a clip inside of here. Don't want to lose that clip, it's pretty important. And I've got this already pretty much emptied out. You empty the rest of this spool out. So you want to remove all the ribbon off the small spools. And there's the end. And if you pull this, the little clip will come out of here. Right there with it. A little spring clip, so. Let's throw away this ribbon. The only thing good about this junky ribbon, this is not my ribbon, it's a customer's who wants me to do it, is the core is bigger diameter. See that core here? So it doesn't hold as much ribbon. If it was a regular size ribbon like the ones I sell, it would be too much ribbon to fit on this pool. But being as this is a short ribbon, because that's what they sell on the internet, it's going to fit. So, all you need to do, especially with the black one, it doesn't really matter, just stick this against the inside there and then the tricky part is trying to get this little spring clip in there and clamp the ribbon onto the center piece there so let me see if I can get this there, I think we got it there we go so now it's attached gotta make sure that eyelet's in there still and wind the eyelet in like that and to transfer it you could just spool it like this takes a few minutes. You just keep spooling it on here, make sure it's nice, stays tight. Or you can put it on my power drill and do it real fast. Or you can take a little rod and stick this in there with some tape here and wedge it in the hole there like that. And then you can spin it a little faster like that. You know, give it a little better, better grip on things but uh so we're gonna wind this ribbon on for the customer and uh I usually don't uh wind ribbons unless they're the ones I sell but I'll make an exception this time and show you guys how to wind this on here. Fingers can get a little tired from doing this but just takes a few minutes, or hopefully not more than a few minutes. Just make sure it's tight every once in a while, pull it tight or something. Make sure it stays tight. And uh, So the Skyrider and the Corsair, that series of Smith Coronas is probably the only one that takes the uh, smaller ribbon kind of a pain not to have a typewriter that just takes a drop in ribbon but but you know sometimes you can't have everything so. and this is almost there you can see the uh, little detent of the eyelet coming up here so Right there's the eyelet detent, so it should be just about it. There's the eyelet right there. So just disconnect this. Connect this side up. Same process, stick this piece in there, snap it in there. Like that, make sure it's tight. And that's it. Wind some of this ribbon on here. So it's almost to the edge. 
probably not as tight as it needs to be. But once it goes through the typewriter once, it'll probably tighten up pretty good. And that's it. Now you can drop this one in here. Skyrider, and that's how we do it. Phoenix typewriter. Good day.